Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today, as requested, I am going to reveal to you subscribers my yardage chart, which is not 100% accurate, but it's fairly accurate. It will help you if you play on the Master Clubs or the Pro Clubs. I will copy and paste that into the video description. But what I'm also going to do for maybe nine holes, we'll maybe play the front nine, is talk you through each in every shot as I'm processing it. Now, in my videos, I do process things quite quickly, but what we'll do is slow it down and I'll commentate to use what I'm thinking and what I'm seeing. So, I really want this video to, to get out there. I want to see some love for this video. So, if you can, please share the video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Please, please, please hit the like button and say something in the comment section. So, we are playing off the blue tees, which are 7,325 yards. The fairways are soft, greens are soft, green speed is medium. It's been a while since I've played soft greens. I've actually set the wind speed to medium by because I want to get a generous wind just to show you guys the changes and what I do in winds. Let's begin, Ryan. Hello there. My name is John. So, well, Dundonald links air shirt by Colin Mafia not played this course yet so the first thing i'm looking for here guys is any hazards on the fairway there's none i'm now looking for slopes where's the best place to land as you can see the fairway is going to slope slightly to the right it's going to kick to the right we've got an eight mile per hour wind i just want to get this as far down the fairway as possible with that in mind i reckon if i go about here the wind will move me to the center of the fairway with the, the slope combined but it's also just giving me enough leeway that if i do push it right or get a slow that wind in the bank might take me back it's also giving me enough scope if i put a fast or a pull on it that we've got enough fairway to work with like i say guys my swing is all over the place at the moment i do apologize for my inability to swing straight at the moment it's it's embarrassing i have pulled it left i don't know why it's going more right but it should kick left And just as well, I allowed that for myself and we've kicked into the, the middle of the fairway. But yet, my swing is just all over the shop at the moment, guys. So I don't hold out much hope for my swing. So this club carries 160 yards. All right, I would say that it's going to probably sit down about 164 yards. With that 9 mile per hour wind, I'm looking at the slope. It's going to move my ball very slightly to the left. So, on the green here, there's a bank here that if the ball doesn't move as far left as I hope, we've got an insurance policy that will filter down that. But we've now got a 10 mile per hour wind, which will hold the ball up as well. I am aiming about there. I need to get a clean strike. I'm just de-lofting this club once, which means I am, with my guy, that should detract two to three yards. All right, so I'm hopefully saying this ball now carries 162 yards and runs out probably 166, 167 on the soft greens. Not the nicest of swing lines, but the wind's taking us round. As confirmed, 162 yards bang on, and it's run out 166. So delighted with that, despite not the best of swing lines. It's done exactly what I've suggested it or hoped it would. And we do pick up the birdie there. Nice start to the round. One under for the round. So let's progress to hole number nice two. Par four, 413 four yards, nine mile three. per hour wind. Just looking for this to, this wind here is going to move us slightly to the left. I'm not seeing any hazards, nothing to really worry about. It's a narrow fairway, so I am aiming slightly more to the right. It depends how confident you are with your swing. You need to have a lot, lot of confidence in your swing. At the moment, I don't. And I'm just looking to get this as far down the fairway as possible. Nice. There we go. Far better swing light. That should come out into the center of the fairway, which it has done. And that's really going to work its way down 311 yards. And it's going to give us another short approach shot like, uh, into this green, which is playing 110 yards, so. yards up one foot. That wind's going to move us. I'm just de-lofting this because I'm seeing it's a slight uphill slope. De-lofting that once. This should still carry now 108 yards, but probably check up about 109. 
slope's going to move us slightly to the right. With the slope and the wind, I'm hoping that filters back towards the flag. And as you can see, the green just outside the, the, the circle is breaking back to the flag, breaking to the left. So it's now all down to the swing. I've pulled it to the left, so it's going to go slightly more to the left, all maybe. Approach here so far. But once again, yardage was, was bang on. Just that slight pull moved me left-hand side of the flag Four stick. Feet. Let's do this. So two fantastic approach shots. It's a four foot putt. Just gonna play this dead weight. And it turns into the center of the cup and we've started out with back to back birdies. So, so far so good. Hole number three is a par five. Hopefully we get some elevation drops here just to show you guys. So we've got an eight mile per hour wind. Straight away, my brain has processed it. We've got a bunker that's drivable and we've got water here, which we certainly don't want to be in either in a par five. I'm just coming about here. I know that wind will take me right to the right if I do um, put a slight fast on it, but it's up to you now. You need to get a straight drive on this one. I've pulled it left, but that wind will pull me out of a hole. I hope it has done. I really need to fix this slight pull to the left. But at the moment, I am adjusting for it. So, but imagine we might not reach the green in two here. 253 yards, the two wood goes. It's going to be a big ask. But straight away, I've noticed here, I'm going to try and kick off this bank here and kick that onto the green. I think it's the only way I've got a hit in the green. So with that 8 mile per hour wind, the height this two wood will go, I'm really aiming over here. I need to get a clean strike on it. It's a. Per, this is not a percentage shot. Percentage shot will be clubbing down. This is an aggressive shot. I'm relying on the wind and the slope. It's a great strike. Just try to kick off this bank. The wind's not taking me round enough. But we are going to find the fairway or light rough. Probably second bet option. We avoided the bunker. And we are going to have a... A flop shot, it is going to be off a severe, severe slope here. I am clubbing down to the sand wedge. I don't like the look of the, the green. That's a tough, it's going to be tough to get this near. That slope's going to take us right. I'm hoping we've got enough club here. It should really run out for me. This should be all over it, to be honest. It should start to turn. Could be in. Oh, we've actually lipped out. So a fantastic golf shot there. And hopefully it's going to set up another birdie opportunity and we can go three consecutive birdies on the trot, which we do, and we get to three under par. All right, you brought things down to three so let's move on to hole number four. Okay, 216 yards, hole par four. three. Looks like we've got slight elevation drop here. So remember I said to you, for every three feet down, you deduct a yard. For every three feet up, you add a yard. So I'm going to have to deduct three yards here, three, six, nine, so I'm going to say this is playing 221 yards. One iron's far too long, hybrid's a bit short, we're a bit in between clubs here, but I'm just going to deal off that a few touches, and then what I'm going to do here is add one touch of draw, which is hopefully going to counteract that win. This should come up short, it should carry about 214 yards now. We might just, if we land on the green, we might get it near the pin. It's a decent strike. The draw on that. Let's say 214 yards. 214 yards exactly. And it's ran up towards the pin for me. That is a great golf shot. Four feet to the and hole. hopefully I can convert this four footer. Greens are quite aggressive here to be fair. And we do pick up. That's quads. A quadruple birdie. That, you're things down so we move to four under par. Fantastic start to this. And Hole five is a par five. But guys, please give this video some like because it did take me a while. Many hours in the driving range, practice range, out playing courses with zero mile per hour wins to find out these yardage charts. So please show, show me some love here. Tell all your friends about this yardage charts and what I'm doing here for you guys. So first thing I'm noticing here, 
hazard on the left, which we're going to weigh drive. It's a very narrow fairway. It gets to a bottleneck. That wind should take us to the right. So I'm just aiming down the left-hand side here, really hoping to put a clean drive on this, which we have done. Slight pull to the left, and that should really make its way down the fairway. Probably about 312 yards is going to check up. 312 yards exactly. Sweet. Okay, looks like we are about So that's now left me 225 yards. Once again, clubbing down to the hybrid. This time, I'm not touching it. I'm just going to allow that 8 mile per hour wind to help carry me that extra distance. I reckon this just kicks on. The only issue we've got here is this slope here. But I reckon it might just trickle onto the green. If not, we're going to have a chip shot. So with that wind, with the height the hybrid gets, we've got a slight slope at our feet, which is going to take the ball right. I'm aiming out here. Hopefully get a good clean strike on this. It's a decent swing. That wind should really take us round and we should get a big kick off this fairway. Just came up short, but the pleasing thing is we are pin high. 11 yards, so it's definitely the lob wedge. Chip shots are quite hard, but I'm seeing we've got a slight slope. It's really going to move the ball to the right. For 11 yards, I go 1, 2, 3, and I play 100%. Okay, I really go 100% attack in this. Horrible swing light. But there we go. The yardage was bang on. But like I do say, and I'm going to keep saying that my swing line is atrocious at the moment. And that is now going to set up another birdie. So we've got five consecutive birdies. Things are going well. Everything's going to plan. So let's move on to hole number six. We will do the front nine here for you guys. So this is a par three, 171 yards. Stroke index 12. Really nice looking course this. So we've got 178 yards down two feet. Soft greens. I'm going to take, I will take one yard off of that. I'll say 177. So I'm clubbing down to the 7 iron. Now, the 7 iron, when you play it full, will carry 172 yards. Okay, so we know that. We know it's going to carry 172 yards. But on the master clubs, a 7 iron should normally run out about 100 and let's say 177 yards, 178 yards depending on the surface. So with that wind against us, I'm taking the wind into consideration. It's going to move us to the left and I'm now de-lofting this one two which is now four yards okay every time i take it down i hope that i'm deal off in two yards okay it's not exact but i'm now hoping this ball carries 172 yards still because we've taken into the wind and it runs out about 177 but we'll just see once again i've pulled it slightly to the left it looks like we've gotten away with it That one just came up a wee bit short. Still right, went 172 uh, yards, but that wind really did hold us up there. We do have a 20 foot putt for birdie, down two inches. This one's just going to move minimally to the left. Is it going to hold its line? If it does, it looks good. Oh, just miss on the left side. And this next putt for the par. So that is what I'm saying to you guys with the inconsistencies off the wind at times. That was really in between. I wasn't sure if that wind was really going to hold my ball up. It turned out it did. But that's the first par of the round. Hole number seven, par four, playing 424 yards. Stroke index 10. Looks like we've got a dog leg here. So this is a more difficult tee shot, especially with the wind. And you can see straight away the fairways are narrow. There's nothing there. The fairways are nice and smooth, flat. I'm just aiming here, hoping that wind takes me round. It should also hold me up. Severe pull to the left, but we should have enough to get away with here. Just terrible swing line. And like I say, guys, 
I do apologise about my swing line. I, d I really don't know what's going on at the moment. I will get this fixed sooner rather than later, hopefully. But the main thing is we found the green, 122 yards. This should carry on soft greens and that wind. I'm going to say this club's only going to carry about 116 yards. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually clubbing up to the pitching wedge, which carries 136. I need to loft this up one, two, so I'm de-lofting four yards. And I'm now going to say that this club is perfect with that wind. Need to get a clean strike on it. There's no, nothing that I'm seeing on the fairway that's going to cause me any issues. I've got my yardage sorted out. I'm now coming to zoom in at the green. I can see, oh, I can see that there's a little, like a little shallow here. And this is what I'm aiming to hit. Okay, I'm trying to avoid the, the, the slope here, this slope, because that'll kick my ball further forward than what it needs. So now I've just got to kind of reset that. Eight mile per hour wind to the right. The green is sloping to the right. It just needs to be a clean strike, which it's not. We should just get away with this. And there we go. Once again, we've played that to almost perfection. I don't think you're going to get a much better shot on that. I've called it out once again exactly what I'm trying to do despite a poor swing line. And hopefully this is just going to turn to the left. It's quite an aggressive break in this little four-footer. But we do manage to pick up the birdie there. So we're having a good round despite swinging poorly. But it just shows you what calculations and, and game management it goes a long, long way in this game. So hole number eight, par four, 452 yards. We've got a nine mile per hour wind behind us now. Driver, I'm just lofting this driver up two touches to let it hang up in the wind. I see no hazards here on the fairway. It's a flat surface. Just gonna come down here, allow the wind to carry me. And that should really run out way over um, 300 yards for me. Because we lofted that club up, allowed it to hang in the wind a wee bit more. We should now be looking about a 9 iron into this green. Like 145. So 144, yeah. let's say it's playing on that soft greens, 143. We've got a bit of an insurance policy here. Oh, why folk are going to go mad here, Colin. That pin is right on a, a yellow slope, why? With that wind behind me, I'm clubbing down to the pitching wedge. And I'm hoping that that wind carries me that extra desired distance. Okay, so I'm not touching this club. I just want to get a good clean strike on it. Green's not breaking much. There's nothing at my feet. I've pulled it left, so it's going to go left of the target by a quite some distance. But as you can see, yardage was bang on once again. 144 yards Very exactly. Nice. And I'm so, so frustrated with my swing. I do really apologise about the the quality of my swing today, but oh, Colin, what have you done to us here, mate? This is nasty. This is really, really nasty. It's downhill to, if I can walk away with par here, I'm a happy man. This is a horrible putt. I'm not going to lie to you here, guys. This could, wow. I should really start to swing. I just want it to stop. Decent attempt. I made sure I was right at the, the flag there. And the reason why it looked an easier putt. Coming back. But we do pick up the par. Second par of the round. And we are going to remain at six under par. Let's go on to the final hole. This is the, I, There's no point me doing a full 18. You guys will just get tired. I'm hoping you guys have got the gist of it. And I really hope that this video goes down well. I do apologise about my swing line. It's something that I'll go and practice on as soon as this video ends. Eight mile per hour wind. I've got no hazards in my line of sight. I can see that the fairway is fairly bumpy here. I'm just going to aim about here. And allow that eight mile per hour wind to take me round. It won't take me round too much. But it should take me round. I've put a slow on that. But I've pulled it left. So they're both going to counteract right each other. And I'm sure you guys can see for yourself I am having difficulty with my swing line. 294 yards. It should leave 
a nine iron or gap wedge, pitching wedge. Let's see, gap wedge it is into that wind. Once again, clubbing to the, the pitching wedge, clubbing down 125 yards. Let's say it's playing 127 into that wind. Just add on about eight yards once again. That's all I do. So, yeah, I think this is perfect. We are on a slight down slope. I'm now going to look at the contours of the green. Once again, very hilly, very, very slopey, isn't it? But one we do if we're long, we've got an insurance policy. Don't expect to be too long here, but just about there. Let's see if we can actually finish with a nice clean strike on this one. It's a good strike. Wind should take us round. Hope this one has some teeth. We should come back off this slope. There we go. Fantastic approach nice. shot once again. Right and Three, hopefully I can convert this. this par and get to this par, this birdie, and get to seven under for the round, which we do. So there you go, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this quick video. There's no point doing the 18 holes. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen enough. I mean, I'm delighted with the seven under. What I'm not happy about is my swing line. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I need to go away and fix that. But I'm sure this video will help you out. And if it has done, please show the video some appreciation. I'd really love if you guys would take the time to share this. Give it a like. If you've not subscribed to the channel, hit subscribe button. Also, go and ch come check me out on Twitter. Um, I set up a Twitter account last night. It's uh, at... 1981 early i'll leave the link to that in the video description as well as the the copy and paste for my yardage chart but that is it for today guys as always i really really appreciate everyone takes their time to watch this video let's show this video some love and i will show you guys and see you guys in the next video take care peace out and love you all